The question of the day is how do you replace the battery in a digital multimeter that has a broken button? Well, the broken button has nothing to do with it, but I'll show you how to replace the battery in this one. Right now I have a rechargeable battery inside and it's uh, discharging and I don't have a charger for it, as luck would have it. So I will just uh, replace it with a bad, un environmentally bad, really really bad battery. First I will, I think I'll measure it, if the voltage is okay, before I disassemble the multimeter. Let's just see how many volts it has. How do you open this? I can open a multimeter but not a battery packaging. That's too, too hard. Ugh. Yeah. Don't know how to do it, use more force. Like this. Yes. Just like they say in the manual. Okay. So let's see how many volts it has. Nine point seven. Is that right? I thought uh, there are 1.5 volt cells inside. Then it should be just... Uh... Oh yeah, that's about right. Okay, no problem. Yeah, that's it. Let's switch it off. Come on! And here's the battery. You take it out. You unplug it. Try not to ruin it. And put in the new battery. And that's it. Was that complicated or something? Yep, it works. Then it's fine. Long term, I will want to put in a lithium ion battery with a DC to DC boost circuit. So I will just use one. Uh, battery cell which is around 4 volts and I will boost it to 9 and then I'll have to put the switch on it so it doesn't drain so the boost circuit is not active all the time just when I switch it on so yeah that's the future plan I need to find a small very cheap boost circuit for that I don't want to waste a $2 one <laughs> I want something cheaper and smaller because the two dollar one can do uh, three amps output and this one doesn't need anywhere near that maybe a few milliamps in fact let's see does it say how much it needs nope it doesn't say but i can look it up or you can look it up. Just type in this model number and uh, power requi requ requirement or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's my plan. Long term it will be lithium ion. And uh, I'll have to add the switch for that. With a DC DC boost circuit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I have a. Uh, St DC to DC step down circuit right now, which I tested, but that is uh, that is behaving strangely. It can do 400 milliamps, but then the voltage starts dropping, and then it increases to, to whatever the input voltage is, and that I don't know how they designed that, but that that is a that is a guaranteed uh, failure. You can ruin a device with that. So yeah, as you can see, it's nice and, uh, well, let's measure the old battery, the rechargeable battery, let's see. It's 8.3, that's at about 50% charge, I think, with the rechargeable cells, yeah, whatever, it's working.
I'll buy I'll just buy a 50 cent uh, battery whenever I need one of these and yeah I'll be done with it until I upgrade to a rechargeable lithium-ion battery.